Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 30th to July 6th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It is linked in the description box below. So let's see what spirit has to say. And as always, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's see what the cards have to say. We are crowned with the lovers reversed. Okay. So lust comes into this time frame a lot. So just be mindful about this. We can be really lusting after things. We might not be thinking things through as thoroughly as we should because we're really we're really just caught up so just be mindful about that it doesn't have to be with a romantic relationship though it could very well be but it is also going to be with life like we're just lusting after the 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 like accumulation of things so just be aware of this it's like it's more of the the conquest than it is the actual oh i want that or oh this is really good for me type of thing so just being aware of that this is also gemini energy may 21st to june 20th if we have a gemini in our life if we have gemini in our chart this energy can be very difficult for us so just being aware of that it moves us then to the page of pentacles reverse this is earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn all right if we have a child or a grandchild who is a an earth sign energy right pay them extra attention during this time seriously they're going to need it it's not like covering it's not smothering so just be mindful about that because they'll pull away but just make sure that you you make time for them to see feel seen and heard also making time for your own inner child to feel seen and heard around money and prosperity so just be very mindful about that also this is going to be a time where we're going to be forced to be a student about our prosperity and yet we're not going to want to be so just be aware of that that's why forced came into play we then have the chariot coming forward now i love that it's pulled by the sphinx if you can see here it's pulled by the sphinx the riddles of life they can be kind of holding us back pulling us back because we're trying to work things out but we're you know not focusing right because we have that lust coming into play not focusing as well this is also you know cancer time period right from june 21st to july 22nd we can be finding this time period to be a bit difficult or we can be finding that emotions come through so intensely that we're overwhelmed by them so being aware of this is going to be a super important thing and then moves us to the hermit the hermit is virgo energy time frame august 23rd to september 22nd this is going to be a time where we need to be pulling inward and seeing ourselves this week like we need to be pulling inward just like we need to be calming down our emotions honoring ourselves we are going to want to just follow the emotional trail wherever it will lead and we want to be in the middle of everything we want to be going everywhere doing everything so just be mindful about this during this time and then moves us to the three of pentacles we work very well with others and we like the collaboration we like the the sounding things off of of a person and getting their ideas back to us so just being aware of that we also like the order of things it's like hierarchy of things that's going to be good now with the tower in the upright position okay so we are going through a tower time a time that we are absolutely experiencing powerful change it doesn't have to be bad change i always say as spirit always tells me the tower can be when you get married it can be when you have children it's an intense and powerful change that absolutely transformed your life it doesn't have to be in the negative way but a tower time is an intense time it's a time where we're thrown out of our safety zone our safety net type of thing so just be mindful about this and then we have the queen of swords it's interesting because this is also air sign energy gemini libra aquarius so that comes through very powerfully during this time we're cutting through a lot of doubts and fears we're also learning to embrace our voice embrace what we desire and what we want and how to move forward in prosperity and in success and that's going to be a really big thing for us 
We are also going to have people around us. They can be air sign energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that are going to really cut through the nonsense and say things as they are. And that's going to be really good. Like the queen of swords gets a bad rap because she's the most masculine of all the queens. So she's not going to cuddle you and hold your hand. She's going to be more of a, a, a tough love. Like you have to work this out. You have to move forward. You have to go through this. And that's going to be really beneficial. So just being aware of that, I say she because it's a queen, but this can come in any form, right, of, of identity. So just being aware of that during this time now let's see what spirit has to say and if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading hit um no not hit uh put a a sun there we go in the comment box below a person will be chosen at random and announced at random so hit the bell notification to to be to be notified when that announcement is made it's only going to be through a video so don't be scammed by anybody in the comments that's not going to be me and yeah, good luck to everyone. So let's see here. This is the Kingfisher reverse. Kingfishers, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Prosperity is following you. Have faith that you will re receive it in the perfect form. So with that reverse here, here Pisces, we don't believe that prosperity is following us. We feel overwhelmed. We feel like we're never going to get to that place that we want to be. And yet we have to really pursue it you know, no, we have to pursue our success, right? Yeah, we have to know that prosperity is, is flowing, you know, have faith that you will receive it in exactly the right time. And it's not going to be in the time, in the time frame of when everybody else receives their prosperity, their success, everything works out just so this is going to be in a time of, okay, you know, it's in the divine timing. And that's going to be a very important thing and very powerful thing for us to connect with and see. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. And this is relationship. This is a sacral chakra. So relationships come through very, very beautifully. This is a sacral chakra. And this is our central energy is our creative energy. And so it's really focusing on relationships with others, our relationship with ourselves. And then it moves us to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Oh, okay. I like, well, it actually was this one. Okay. Because spirit's like these two right here. Well, you already saw that. So <laughs> we'll just leave it facing upward. We have the eight of cups. Be mindful of walking away from something that, you know, we're not ready to walk away from. And then we have the queen of pentacles. And this is earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We can be walking away from an earth sign energy that we're not ready to walk away from. And this can also be, you know, really doubting our prosperity and our success and thinking I have to take a new path and spirit saying, no, you have to focus on, on building your prosperity and building the wealth that you want in your life. That's going to be really important. We can be walking away from this. Like it's never going to happen for me. So just be aware of this during this time with the, with the lovers, lust comes forward. You know, just be mindful that our head can be turned by a shiny object, a pretty object, a, a you know, whatever we're lusting after during this time. You know, if we're lusting after a new handbag, we'll, we'll absolutely focus on that. If we're lusting after a person, that will become our obsession. So just be mindful about this during this time. We're also fighting our own duality. We want ourselves to be more one full way during this time. We need to let ourselves embrace our duality Pisces. We're represented by two fish. Duality is just an absolute part of us. With the Knight of Pentacles, not the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles reversed, we need to be a student of our prosperity. We do. We're not going to want to be. We kind of want to think we have it all figured out, but this is going to be a time where we learn and lessons are going to come our way. This is also going to be a time where we need to, you know, we need to connect with learning. We need to connect with understanding what we want to plant, how we want things to grow, how we want things to move forward. That is going to be very, very, very important. If you have a child, a grandchild, you know, a young person in your life who is an earth sign energy, connecting with them or has earth sign energy in their chart, like a lot of it, connecting with them is going to be a really important thing. The chariot here is, 
you know, our emotions can get the better of us. So just be mindful about this. We can also have cancer energies in our life that can be very overwhelming as we can have Virgo energies in our life that can be very overwhelming. Virgo is also our sister sign. It either brings out the best or the worst in us. Right now, it's not playing as nicely with us as we would like it to. So just be mindful about this. We kind of want, again, not kind of, we want to be in the middle of everything. We're afraid we have FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. I love that. You know, we are afraid that, something will pass us by. And, and that's cool. Something will pass us by, but we have to be content where we stand right now and the choices that we have made. So that is going to be very, very, very important. We're going to work well with others, which is awesome. And we're going to like the collaboration, but we are going through a time that is transforming us, whether we like it or whether we don't. And so that is going to be important. It's going to change the way that we look at things and it's going to kind of throw us out of our safety zone. So it's going to push our boundaries. It's going to, you know, move us forward. It's going to push us out of our comfort zone. So being aware of this and it's going to have us embracing our voice, our words, cutting through doubts and fears and negativity, you know, really, you know, knowing what we want to say, knowing what we want to do. And there's just a fierceness to us during this time. We're also going to have somebody in our life who's very plain spoken, very straight shooting, you know, so just be aware of this. They're going to tell us something. We may not want to hear it. We probably don't, you know? <laughs> but they're going to be, they're going to be speaking words of, well, words that should be listened to because they're not, it's words of wisdom, but they're just like, it's just su super practical. This is a super practical down to earth person who says it as it is. And that's going to be a really important thing. There's also a sense here of embracing your voice, embracing the power of what you want and moving forward in that energy. Our subconscious spirit message here is the Robin reversed. And it says new growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. So again, both of them are telling us that positivity, you know, is, is flowing through us. Prosperity, abundance, you know, prosperity is flowing through us. New change is here. We're doubting it. We're like, no, I don't see it. No, it's not coming. Why? Because we're, we're being led by chaotic emotion that is kind of all over the place. Kind of, you know, yeah, it's chaotic emotion and it's stabilizing ourselves and knowing that we're opening up the door to so much more. And as we work with others, as we see our world change around us, right? As, as we push the, the boundaries of what we're comfortable with, we, we push forward and out of love, out of respect, you know, not in, in any harmful, hateful way, but in a loving, respecting, you know, joyous way, we start to embrace our life. We start to embrace ourselves. So just be mindful about this. Be mindful also of somebody who's very emotionally manipulative, right? Who is very alluring. You know, they just have a way with them. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but this person is just a charmer. And you're going to feel like, wow, you're a snake venom. You're like, it's snake venom. And it is. So just be mindful of that. It moves us then to our energy our chakra energy, this is divine wisdom. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. It is divine wisdom leading us forward. Listen to it. Listen to your intuition during this time. And it brings us then to our energy to be mindful of the eight of wands reversed. It's like, we feel like everything is moving like molasses. It's actually moving a lot faster than we think it is. So just being mindful about that. And it brings us then to justice. And this is, is balance. This is Libra energy. September 23rd to October 22nd is the time frame. Justice and balance and being just and fair and balanced with ourselves is going to be important. Embracing our voice, embracing, you know, our, our tenacity and the way that we need to move forward. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So let's take a nice, oh, and before we do this, please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So let's take a nice deep breath in exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.